Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I am on the side of my yard here and I am gonna be tilling up a section here because I'm gonna be planting some winter wheat. And if you all know, my soil is horrible. A lot of rocks, a lot of clay. And this wheat is probably not gonna grow well, but it'll kind of be a sacrifice crop in order to kind of get this a little better soil, if that makes sense, for next year. I'm gonna go ahead and start tilling this up. My wife might come out and help in a little bit, but I'm gonna try to go as long as I can here. We might go a little deeper. Hard red winter wheat. So, let's see how it goes. So, I'll start here, good place as any. I got this little hand tiller thing, and I'm not gonna get down super deep with this, I'm gonna be honest, but it'll kind of start it. And then I can get the hose over here, water it, then in the next day or two, this will be softer and allow me to get in here a little better. Oh, there's a big stump. <sighs> or a rock. We got maybe about four feet wide, three feet wide. We can come this way a little bit, I think, but we cannot come this way because of this right here. There's a giant stump. I tried to <sighs> dig it out, but I'm feeling it in the ground when I put push back here so I know this is really big this is a big big stump and there's no way of that getting out of the ground I mean I don't know how to other than spending hours and hours and hours so I think if we're going to we're gonna go this way let's get that up Ugh. got a another stump right there I think A bunch of those things. Another one right there. Let's see. All right. So I mostly got this up, but I just can't get this last little bit. I think... <sighs> Grasp your mandrake firmly. You pull it sharply up out of the box. Abby's here helping. You getting all the greens up? All the grasses? Wood chips? I'm trying to find the wood chips. You're trying to find the wood chips? Yeah. All right. Oh, well, they're here. Bunch of big rocks. I think this is a rock. All right, get it. Mm. No, that's a stump, maybe. <sighs> Good effort. This is one of the biggest stumps I have ever seen. Oh, yeah? <sighs> well. <sighs> oh, wow. Ah. All right. Well, that was a job. There's quite a bit more stuff for me to pull up. Like some more wood chips and stuff and fine. Um, I'll do it tomorrow. But today I'm gonna water this pretty heavily because I've been at this for about an hour and a half. I'm, Tired. So another thing watering did, not only is it going to make this softer and easier to work tomorrow, I can get down a little deeper, but what it did was it exposed all the rocks. You can see they got lighter because they were covered in dirt, so it washed off the dirt. Now I can see which ones are rocks. Well, there's a rock. Rock, you know, I can come through. I'm not going to do it right now. It's super muddy. 
but I can walk through this tomorrow and pick out the rocks and then retill it. I don't know why I brought the seed packet with me today. I mean, there's no way I was going to be planting today. It's kind of silly. Well, guys, I didn't bring you along for this, but I went through and retilled all this. I pulled out a lot of the rocks. I still have a couple here, but I'm going to go ahead and even this out with this rake here and try to get it a nice even top. Still got some vegetation like that. And this rake will bring a lot of that up, like these big wood chips too, and some rocks. So that'll help. It'll make it a nice even surface. Just gonna help with these plants getting Good germination. I still got a lot of vegetation and wood chips in here. Probably would benefit from one more time tilling, grabbing up some of this and then tilling it once more, but could make it perfect or just go ahead and plant and hope for the best. Another big rock, some vegetation. I'm just gonna scrape the top here. It seems like I'm pulling off some dirt, but definitely a lot of this heavy wood chips on the top. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Well, maybe I made this a little too wide. Now that I thought about that, to be able to get in and weed this might be difficult without stepping on these plants, but We'll see. So yeah, it's about a four foot by, I would say, 12 foot, 15 foot, somewhere on there. 15 long. We'll see how much that grows. All right, so even with my really hard rock-filled soil, I mean, it's not perfect, I'm gonna be honest, but this didn't take all that long. We're talking maybe a total of four or five man hours to be able to do this plot to dig it up. If you have better soil where you live, this is going to be so much quicker. But I think I'm ready to plant. So wheat. And it's all, all it does look like wheat berries. That's all it is. Just scatter. Well, it's a little too many together. I think I was reading up the one I'm about three inches apart. Wow. So I might use up this whole bag. For this little plot. Yeah, I will. So. I'm gonna put a marker here so I know this side is wheat because I'm gonna go grab I've got some oats as well so there's wheat so this little pack was only like two dollars and fifty cents and for inexpensive I could have gotten a heck of a lot more I just didn't think I would need it it's a little heavy on there so and I know it's light over here we'll grab some put it there all right so now before I grab that oat seed, I think I'm going to rake this in because I want them about a quarter inch deep. Some of those little seeds are on top. A lot of them are getting covered this way. So there's the wheat seeds. Who knows? I might have just raked them all up to right here. I think I see some still in there. Okay, another grain that you can grow in the winter or starting I guess late fall it's almost into winter now but is uh, oats so we do like oats in the house we eat a lot of oatmeal um, plus it's 
really good for the birds as well. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, these little seed packets, I really should have gotten the bigger seed packet. This is only enough for just a few plants. I mean, this is... Make it a little sparser. Now we're going to separate that. That's even smaller of an area. Luckily I pulled up all these rocks. That's even smaller of an area because, I mean, that came with almost nothing. The other one is barley, and I do have some of that. I'm going to go get the barley. All right. Oh, robust grain barley. I've got common grain barley as well. I got both kinds of seeds from this place. Now, this one is a bigger packet, and oh, it's, it seals too. So that's interesting. It looks like quite a bit more seeds. Some rocks in there as well that's interesting now these seed packets i guess they figure if you're growing grain you know what you're doing but i don't i don't really know how far apart to keep these i'm going to guess it's about the same as the wheat which said two to three inches for the uh, apart now some of these seeds because i'm just evenly broadcasting across the soil here i have a feeling are much closer and some are wider I'm not doing it super precise. And I've never grown this stuff before, guys, so this is this is new to me. It's just kind of an experiment to see what grows best. Now, I have a feeling I'm a little bit late for the barley. From what I was reading, I can plant the all the rest just fine. Oats and wheat is fine in late November. Um, as long as you don't have a frost coming up in the next two to three weeks, allow them to sprout well, which I don't. So hopefully the barley does well as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the barley. I'm going to try to see if I can eat, we can eat the wheat and the oats, but the barley, now I used to make beer a long time ago, but I don't have a beer maker anymore. And so I don't. I don't know of any other use for barley than beer making, but I know the animals like it, so I'm gonna feed it to the chickens. And again, just like the others, we're just scratching it in. So usually I would put up markers if I was gonna plant several different things, but I'm videoing here. So I know which side on the left side is wheat, then oats, then barley. So I don't really see an issue with not marking it. So one thing I just thought about, I had mentioned that this might be a kind of sacrifice crop just to improve the soil. However, after pulling all this up, I will say the soil isn't too bad. Now, it is still a lot of clay, so that means it's not going to drain super well. And I know it says these like well-draining soils, so they might not grow great. But it's possible I might get a harvest off these. That's why I was talking about eating it. Otherwise, if I don't get much of a harvest, this is just going to basically improve the soil. And if I get some seeds from it, some uh, grain from it, I'll just use it, save the seeds and, and grow it next year in the same plot of soil. And hopefully at that time, I'll have a bigger harvest or more than a small little seed packet that I can plant more seeds. But if I get a good harvest, I'll save some still for next year. Well, I'll, I'll try to see if I can make some bread with it. This is all planted. I'm going to continue watering this and I'll bring you guys back in a couple days once all this sprouts up. I've still got some barley seeds. In fact, so I have two different types of barley, a robust grain and a common grain barley. For some reason, I don't know the difference. So I'm going to till up a little bit more down here. Eli's going to help me, right bud? Yeah. So we're going to till up the ground a little bit more down here and plant some of the 
common grain barley because this was robust here. So we'll plant the common grain right here and we'll get to it. So it just rained last night. So this ground is going to be a lot softer, which I'm pretty happy about. All right, guys. So done a lot of tilling here and grabbing a lot of rocks. We've got all that out of there. Big wood logs and everything I'm tilling up. So hey, no complaining. All right, so like I did here, I'm just gonna put a spacer in between. So I know that's one kind of barley, there's the other. And I wanna show you, this was completely empty. And you can see how full that is now. That's all that I pulled out. And there's still a lot more and i even used some of them right there which those are some of the bigger pieces so there's still a lot of rocks in there this is just my soil this is how it is i mean there's wood chips everywhere if you look everywhere um so you're just uh pulling it out so it's a lot of work but it's worth it it's going to make my soil much better so we got this part tilled we're still finding rocks though but we're doing our best here there's the little ones sometimes are hard to find, but we got this all tilled up and ready. So this is a common grain barley. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not an expert with this, so I don't really know how thick to spread them. Eli's going to spread some, just, you know, let them go. Hold on. There you go. Randomly. Here, take this. Not too many in one spot, please. Watch out. We're done with it. Yep. All right, there we go. Now we gotta scratch it in. Look at that, I'm still pulling up rocks. Ugh, big ones. All right, so let's come back uh, in a couple days. I'm probably not gonna show you guys this one sprout, only when I start seeing these ones really come forward. Well, check it out, guys. Finally, I've got some sprouts here coming up. Might be hard to see, because they're small. <laughs> I'm pretty high up, let me bring this down. Now, while I'm getting this off my thing here, check it out, a dog came, some neighborhood dog walked right through. Well, luckily, they're still sprouting around it, so that's not, I guess, too big a, big a deal. But there we go. You can see the little sprouts. The barley has probably got the most. However, I probably seeded this a little thicker anyway, so maybe that's why you can see all the sprouts. It's just going to look like grass coming up. Now, the second barley hasn't come up yet because it's been two days since I planted it. Well, it's a nice, crisp, beautiful morning, but I've got... A lot growing here and there's getting taller and all of them have started sprouting. It's only been a couple days since I planted so those should pop up. This did take a couple days. I feel like this is taking a little longer but my timing could be messed up. I'll bring you guys back in a couple months once I am harvesting them and I'll give you guys updates on this as this grows over time. But thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content please subscribe and hit the like button. Also, hit that bell notification for future video updates, and I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.